I tried to cling to the deep voice. It sounded different than the one that kept me company in my head. This one was lower, softer. It didn't scream at me over the pain. But the hands, I couldn't take the touch. Every time the heavy weight settled on my arm or shoulder, I cringed away and retreated further into the downy furs. Time passed in a weird haze where I'd think I was back in the mines, but then I'd wake up facing a metal wall and that deep voice was there again. Sometimes I'd catch glimpses of white hair. One time, my eyes focused on a blue face with a heavy brow. Something about it was familiar. Don't leave me, I whispered. I won't. The blue lips moved, but the sound was delayed. We'll get you back, Phoenix. I promise. I formed the name with a hesitant tongue. Phoenix. Later, more voices filled the room. They say you're the best healer in this hemisphere. What can you do for him? I don't know Drixonian anatomy. I... A loud crash sounded, and the voice continued, shaking. I... I can try to ease his pain. Then do it. Shuffling followed the order, and then something prodded my lips. I opened my mouth as a bitter flavor exploded on my tongue. The furious heat abated, and I slipped into the first non-fitful sleep I could remember. When I woke again, the room was dark. I lay curled on my side, and sitting in a chair near a window was a white-haired warrior. My brain was sluggish, but a few things were clearer than they'd been in many cycles. I was a Drixonian, and so was the warrior watching over me. Slowly his head turned and violet eyes met mine. His widened before he pushed the chair next to where I lay so he could sit closer. Grabbing a canteen of quaw, he held it to my lips so I could drink greedily to wash the bitter taste out of my mouth. 